What's up, guys? Welcome to some mutt news here on M Devil Gaming. It is Friday, and uh, you know what Friday means. There are a lot of new cards and packs. There are free agent cards, and we're gonna go take a look at them. There's five new free agents, and uh, let's go find them really fast. Okay, let's see. Uh, we'll go from lowest to highest rating, um, I think. And the first one is Colts center and they're all elite so let's just set that right now so we're good to go cold center 90 to 94 and it is phil costa and look at him here he's got 95 strength um 93 on that pass block strength 86 only on pass block footwork so he's really bad at footwork it looks like and awareness awareness and footwork are really bad for him strengths are pretty good and he's got speed run and short pass. And he just got signed by the Colts, apparently. So that's pretty good for him. Let's go take a look at the next guy. Uh, is the left end. I probably would have been a lot faster if I went the other way. And then let's go to Bears. If I can get Bears and not be an idiot. And it is Willie Young, and there is a super cheap Willie Young up on the block right now. He's only 1500 so if you need a left end and you don't have a lot of coins, Willie Young is a definitely a good option. So definitely check that out. Uh, he's got 82 speed. Oh, dang, that's not very fast. That's really, really slow, actually. Uh, 94 finesse move, 90, or 90 strength, not too bad. He's got pass rush and man defense. Just got signed by the Bears. To replace Julius Peppers, uh, it looks like he's going to try to replace Julius Peppers on the Bears. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, Willie Young there, free agent Willie Young. Next guy is a right guard, right guard, right guard for the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills, and it's Chris Williams, and luckily there's one on the block for 25000 I don't think that he normally would go for this much probably just the only one up so people are like trying to gouge up a little for him but he's got long pass and ground and pound um and he's freaking pancaking this dude from the dolphins apparently uh, who is that cameron wake maybe i don't know uh pass block so he's kind of a little bit different he's good at pass block so pass block strength and pass block footwork are both high but then run block strength and run block footwork are lower ish impact blocking ain't too good either but he's definitely better than the other linemen. Oh, that was the center, though, so that's a little bit different. But still, um, not a bad-looking card. Uh, 25000 that's way too much money for him. So, yeah, if you're looking for someone, don't buy him for 25000 Okay, next one we got here is for the Jacksonville Jaguars here on Mutt News. And uh, <laughs> he's actually a 95 overall. So let's see if we can find one here. And there he is. Red Bryant, only one up. Looks like it just got put up 14 minutes ago. Um, so, yeah, not too bad of a card here. Speed is super low, but he is a D tackle. Uh, he's not as fast as, like, some of those, like, Warren Saps and stuff. But, let, well, let's compare him to my Warren Sapp real quick, and let's see. Oh, he's faster than that Warren Sapp. Okay. Well, I guess I'm an idiot. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> power move is 94 that's good block shed 87 is decent you'd like to see a little bit higher there for a 95 overall card and then strength 96 that's really good too so not too bad of a card it looks a little expensive 18,000 seems a little expensive or 19 probably going to be a little bit cheaper once a, a few more are pulled probably haven't been that many pulled yet and the last card is a 99 overall card uh, I think this is the first or second time that we've had a 99 overall card in the free agents. So, that's kind of crazy. Even, like, Darrell Revis got only, like, a 96 or 7. But it's Tracy Porter, and someone wants 150000 for him. That's crazy number. That's way too high. Let's compare him, because I think I have the other Tracy Porter. No, I got rid of him. I don't have him anymore. Yeah, I used to have the team captain Tracy Porter, which was a 97 overall. And this one is definitely better. Uh, 9 to run stuff, 9 to zone defense. He's got 97 speed, 97 man, 96 zone. So he, you put him out there in coverage, he can cover. Uh, awareness isn't that great, so making big plays on the ball probably isn't his specialty. Uh, play recognition, though, 95. Being in good position, that's good. 
uh, and then press is 95 so that's pretty good as well so that's a pretty good overall card definitely not worth 150,000 you can get one of those Richard Sherman cover vote cards for like 110 120,000 so don't go out and buy this card for 150,000 it's not worth that let's see this one's probably been sitting up here for hours that two and a half hours is not that long but still uh, kind of crazy but uh, yeah, that's basically all the new cards that came out today here on Mutt News. Those are all the new free agent cards. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video here on M-Devil Gaming. And um, the other thing is, there is another thing. Oh yeah. I don't know how I can show you this, but uh, let's search auctions. Uh, let's see. Left out. Oh, let's go to right outside linebacker. Let's go to right outside linebacker. Do we have one here? No, there isn't one. Oh, there we go. This this is a good example. So, James Harrison. This James Harrison is normally not a 99. But, apparently, uh, he does have a 99 card. But this is the most feared card. Um, these most feared cards came out during Halloween. They came out during October. And if you pulled one, they were like normally like an 80... Like an 85 or 80 whatever. I think he's got the exact same stats. Yeah, that's what they did with them. Um, but what these most feared cards were is that they're normally like 85, 86, 87 overall type cards. What about this LT? Let's take a look. Cause why I came here is because there isn't there is a most feared LT, but uh, I don't see one up here. Oh, there's a Clay Matthews too. So yeah, what these most feared cards are. Basically, they were they're normally like a, like anywhere between like an 80 and then like a 90, 90 overall. But during Halloween, as you can see on the card here, from October 30th to uh, November 1st, they are 99s, and that's what they did for today because today is Friday the 13th. Uh, so I don't know if they're doing it just for today or for a couple of days or whatever. But apparently it's a full moon, it's Friday the 13th, it's a red moon. All of the most feared cards are going back up to 99. So you can play with some 99 guys if you never if you never had one before. So if you've got, like, oh, see, there's the Lawrence Taylor I was looking for. And I think he's normally like a 95 or a 96. So he's not that big of a deal for him. So, but be careful if you're on the auction block today and you come across, like, oh, I can get a 99 James Harrison for 26000 like, that sounds like a good deal, right? No, it's not, because this card is going to drop down to, like, 80-whatever in two days, and then you're screwed. So, that kind of sucks about that. But, uh, yeah, just want to let you guys know about that. This is Mutt News, so I might as well mention it. Let's see if there's any other ones that were kind of cool like that. Let's go to Elite. I know, I think there's the Patrick Willis, too. Is that him? Yeah, there he is. People ask him way too many coins for them being stupid, trying to, like, rip people off. Maybe there isn't another one. I don't know. I don't know. I'm being dumb. Yeah, 100000 for this Patrick Willis. Like, this guy, BLW Legits, is probably going to get this Patrick Willis. And he's like, yeah, 99 Patrick Willis, I only paid 100000 for it. And then in, like, two days, it's going to go back down. It's going to go back down to, like, 80-whatever, and then he's going to be really upset. Or maybe he just wants to use it for for that one day. So basically, this Patrick Willis, 92 speed, 100 tackle, 99 play rec, is the exact same as the position winner, Patrick Willis. So he's got the exact same stats, except he doesn't have the same chemistries. But he's got the exact same stats just for one day. So that's kind of cool, but it is only for one day. It's like renting a player. And I wouldn't recommend it if you, unless like, hey, you just want to get that boost to your team for one day. But that's kind of dumb. Spend a hundred thousand on a card for one day. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. This has been M Devil Gaming, and um, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Check the link in the description below for tons more Madden Ultimate Team videos. Also, tons of friggin' FIFA videos coming, guys. I'm all caught up in the World Cup. I just watched freaking Netherlands destroy freaking Spain. That was some crazy stuff happening. But um yeah guys, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching guys and go devils.